What's going on everybody? Mike here. Welcome to another Symphony tutorial. Today we're going to talk about pop-up operators and stay-down operators. What are they and how do we use them? First, let me show you an example of a stay-down operator. A stay-down operator would be probably a manager or a bartender. If I sign in, I enter this checks area. I'm going to go ahead and begin a table. I'm going to choose table 1. I'm going to enter one guest. Ring in an appetizer for position 1. Now, when I hit send, I got returned back to the checks page. Now, this is a stay down operator. Let me sign in with a server number and show you the difference. I'm going to use my test server number here and begin table 2. Also for one guest. Ring up the same appetizer for position 1. Now when I hit send, you notice I got kicked out all the way to the sign-in screen. We use pop-up operators for servers because uh, they share computers with other servers, so we don't encounter mistakes with leaving the computer signed in and another server ringing in a table under the wrong person's name. For bartenders or computers who are dedicated like cashiers, we use stay-down operators because it makes the operations faster and they don't have to sign in every time. Now let's take a look on how we program these two options. The option we're looking for is called employee classes and it can only be found at the property level. Highlight the property level. Under the configuration tab, here under personnel, we're going to take a look at employee classes. We have three classes defined here. You might have more or less. Let's take a look at our bartender class. I'm going to double click on it to open it. I'm going to go to the operator options and here we have a list of all of our revenue centers. These options can be different based on the revenue center. So if I click on the ellipsis here under the option bits, I'm going to find the list. The option that we're looking for is option number 8. If I check option number 8, then this particular operator, meaning the bartender, will become a pop-up operator. So every time they hit send, they get kicked out all the way to the sign-in screen. If I leave it unchecked, then they're going to be a stay-down operator, which is the behavior that they currently have. And again, we can make them different for the restaurant and the bar. If we take a look at our servers here, and we open their option bits, we notice that option bit number 8 is checked on for them. So every time they hit send, they kicked out all the way. A quick note on employee classes, please do not confuse them with the employee role. The employee role decides what options they are allowed to use, meaning are they allowed to void or not, are they allowed to transfer checks or not, and the employee classes uh, describe behavior like pop-up operators, stay-down operators, if they require to enter a table number when they begin a check, if they are required to enter the number of guests when they begin a check, and other options like that. Another good security feature for the pop-up operators is the sign-out timer. I'm going to sign in with my test server number here and you're going to notice after a couple of seconds my screen closes automatically. When we define an employee class as a pop-up operator, this also enables that setup timer. We can find that timer under the control parameters. So under the setup tab, we're going to look for control parameters. Here under the configuration options, we have this automatic pop-up interval. So right now it's just set to 3 seconds. Set it to as long as you need. For security reasons, we wanted all of our servers to be pop-up operators. So every time they would hit send, they would be returned to the sign-in screen. But we noticed that doing this, first of all, slowed them down, and second of all, it annoyed them to swipe their card if they had multiple tables or multiple orders to enter. So a good compromise between the two is to have our servers be as stay-down operators, but enable the automatic pop-out timeout. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to the employee classes configuration. I'm going to open up my server class go back to the operator options, uncheck option number 8, which will make them a stay-down operator, but also check option number 15. So this will enable the auto pop-up timeout if they leave the computer unattended. So I'm going to save 
and let's take a look what that does. So we're back at our workstation now. I'm gonna click a quick update to receive the change I just made. Then I'm gonna sign in. I'm gonna open my check. I'm gonna send another appetizer for position one. And notice when I hit send now, I got returned to my check screen. But if I leave my computer unattended, it will automatically kick me out. So for us, this was the best system between having the security we needed, avoiding mistakes, and also making the servers as efficient as possible. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire course where you can learn everything you need to maintain your Oracle Micros POS system. And as a special thank you, I also included a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.